you've been following me for a while, you know that I attended the Mackenzie Childs Artisan Craft Festival of 2023. My last video I did my unboxing. I don't want to say unboxing because I don't like that word unboxing. I shared some of the pieces that I purchased there. I didn't share everything. I will share it in some upcoming video. In today's video, what I'm going to share is a part of my experience and it was having um tea with Rebecca. So my husband and I and a few other people had tea with Rebecca and it was located at the farmhouse in Aurora, New York. And it was just phenomenal. Um, we had loads and loads and loads of information about the company and about the patterns and about favorites. And you'll see in this video, I had the pleasure of taking a tour because so many of you I know are so far away and can't make it to Aurora, New York. I really wanted to bring it to you. I just want to share with you after our tea and did the tour and before we left, we have these lovely parting gifts. I wasn't expecting it. I, I got to tell you, I was in total shock. And we got mugs. Okay. I got one because there were two of us and my husband got one. So they have the Artisan Festival logo on it. The courtly check. I should say the courtly check. I'm a mug fanatic. I also have this one that I got last time. I have to tell you, I was gifted this piece. If you're watching me, thank you. It's absolutely lovely. It's signed by one of the artisans. I was going to use this as maybe a jewelry holder in my night table, but I'm here in my office and I just put it there and I loved the way it looked. I'm having it here on my desk and this is how I'm going to use it. I want to get away, but I could use some company. If you're alone like me, we could go on a trip. Girl, I want to see the sun. Dive into the deep ocean. Dance with you all night long. Move as you swing your hips. Let's take a break from the stress and the hate. Feel the loving, feel the rhythm. Singing oh na na, oh na na. We have people here from all over the country today all over the world. This is a really exciting time and there's nothing more fun than talking about Mackenzie Childs. I get completely detestable. And this is the second year we've done it and it gets better and better. And I want, and many of them have become friends of ours. They're making extraordinary. They are just gorgeous in everything, everything they represent. And they're all about joy and sharing positivity and love. And we try and pour that into everything we do. Let's just face it, the world doesn't need a thing that we make. They just don't, right? We make frivolous things. We make teacups and saucers. We make highly patterned eccentric things. You don't really need it. But we, I think of Mackenzie Chubb like vitamins. I think you need it because it makes you feel good. And that's the intention. It, it's to put joy and love into everything that we do. And hopefully you feel that through the things that we produce. That's really, really, really important to us. And that's the core mission today. So we take Victoria and Richard's first mission and we try and carry that forward with all the love we can possibly pour into everything that we do. And, and we take that really seriously. So, um, you know, it's interesting because Mackenzie Childs, we started in the village of Aurora. And if you've been to Aurora, it's just a mile down the road, by the way. Around 1860, this is a Second Empire house. Um, it has traditional Second Empire architectural details like decorative dormer windows and slate mansard roof. Um, the house you're sitting in was actually our first, this is our corporate headquarters. And back in the day, in 1986 when we moved here, um, and I got here in 91, when I got here in 91, we still had a party line. The barn, however, burned to the ground in 1993. And we rebuilt the barn. And that very same year, this is so typical of Victoria and Richard, they just, no was never part of our vocabulary. You couldn't say no. Everything was yes and possible. And so that very year, we rebuilt the barn. We opened a store on Madison Avenue in Manhattan at 69th and Madison. We were happily moving forward as a brand, and it was really an exciting time. 
if I took you there, you'd say, why? But um, it's actually a tiny little room in the estate barn, not open to the public, but it has all of our old original tile and the colors, we called them Millie Molly Mandy colors, mustard yellows and sage greens and terracotta okay. tile. And Richard Mackenzie Childs designed um, actually garden edging. And we use that as tile as the backsplash in this room that we now pot all of our plants in. Oh, so wow. you'd be like, what? I'll I can take you down there and you'll, you'll be so curious as to why that's my favorite spot. But I have a lot of favorites. That's the thing. My favorite, my favorite keeps changing. As we develop new fun things, I always have a different favorite. So, yeah. So do you do you have a favorite pattern? From oh no! Here we no. go. <laughs> I, my favorites change. I, I don't. Five, but six. okay. So I I grew up with Taylor, which was the original pottery collection that we made, and I have so I have a scandalous amount of it. If you knew how much dinnerware I had. My husband is like, would you just stop? And I can't. I just can't. And so I have stacks of, stacks of it, and I love it, and I love the way they're just perfectly imperfect, and you can see the brush strokes. I love that. But then I fell madly in love with Courtly Check and Amalware, and I have a scandalous amount of that. But now I'm really crazy about Sterling Check. Oh, yes. And I think it looks so good with Courtly Check. And I just, I kind of, I just get really into it. And we have new things coming out next year that are going to blow your mind. Oh my gosh, you're going to explode. They're so fun. New colors of things I can't mention that I'd like to mention, but I won't mention. But I'm tempted to anyway. <laughs> it's coming out. I didn't say it, but it's stunning. Oh, nice. But really just soft, beautiful, feminine, gorgeous. Oh, nice. You know, I, I kind of, I appreciate in the early days, there was a softer side right? A softer mm -hmm. side of Mackenzie Childs that I would like to really exaggerate again, because I think we've always been a, in a, uh, sort of been about the yin-yang of Mackenzie Childs. There's a positive, negative, there's a black and white, there's pattern, like black and white check mixed with floral. I want to bring those lovely, feminine, sensational things back again, because I think they're, they're meaningful, and they're strong, and they're beautiful. So, um, I think you'll start seeing some evolution there. Nice. Great questions. Yes. Uh, oh, you still paint? Yes. Yes. Oh. You know, I, I have a background in fine art. I don't think I'm a good painter. In fact, I'm not a good painter, but I love to paint. Um, but I leave that to the pros because we have incredible, we have an incredible staff of amazing gifted people. And when you come through in the spring to do the production tour and you see our furniture painters paint, you just can't believe it, to how they command these tools. I mean, we, we paint all of our marble with, with actually feathers, and we use different brushes and different techniques for so many different things, and there's nothing like seeing that being done in person. It's kind of magical. What's so cool about thistles is that they grow, they just bloom in the craggiest, most impossible soil. These gorgeous flowers just come out of nowhere. They burst through rocks. They look like tassels, they're beautiful. And so we love a thistle, and we will be doing thistles again, maybe embroidered on things, you might see them in new ways, but um, thistles are important because they're actually our company logo, right? It's part of the logo. More thistles. More thistles, yes. Which is, we kind of call it underpinnings, right? For us, it's a neutral, it's beige, it's white, it's neutral, totally neutral. And the first time it showed up was actually a decorative detail that kind of divided two patterns on the bonnet of a big, beautiful wooden armoire. So we had floral on top and marble and tortoiseshell. And actually, the checks were placed where your eye could pause, if you can believe it. So that's where it started. But then in 1993, we began working on it in enamelware. And then it really came to life in 1995. And the first name for it was not Courtly Check. It was Roasted Marshmallow. <laughs> and why? Because it, it, so it's, if you look really closely at it, it used to have more color. It still has a lot of color drag, but the early, early versions of Courtly Check had a lot of kind of golden, yeah. glowy, caramelized sugar yeah. pulled through the check. And so we thought it looked like roasted marshmallows. 
and it was part of Camp Mackenzie Childs, which was, that was our enamelware because it was like cowboy china to us. The cowboys out eating baked beans under the stars at night. That was kind of what our enamelware was all about. And so now it's become a thing, a real thing. And it's got a mind of its own and a voice of its own and it's everywhere. <laughs> and so we have quite a courtly check fan base. It's pretty fun. Um, so, okay, dig in. I'll come stop by and say hi to you guys and let me know if you can Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Will ever figure out Falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down
came from kind of turned me upside down i just don't know what to do i want to spend the night at hers and bring her one of my t-shirts so it smells like her perfume now i really get what the love songs are talking about and i just want to tell her how i feel screaming out loud have you ever been in love have you ever lost your head have you felt like you were out of breath when you saw her in that dress when your heart is beating fast and you're sweating and you can't stop looking at her smile then you've been in love that's how you know you've been in love there's something about the way she laughs and the way she always dances when she thinks nobody sees and when she's gonna miss her so i tell her baby please don't go i think you should stay with me and i i really get what the love songs are talking about Oh, and I just want to tell her how I feel, screaming out loud. Have you ever been in love? Have you ever lost your head? Have you felt like you were out of breath when you saw her in that dress? When your heart is beating fast and you're sweating, and you can't stop looking at her smile. Then you've been in love. That's how you know you've been in love. t-shirts so it smells like her perfume have you ever been in love have you ever lost your head have you felt like you were out of breath when you saw her in that dress when your heart is beating fast and you're sweating and you can't stop looking at her smile then you've been in love that's how you know you've been in love Get out, we can 
countryside is so pretty with the wind blowing in your hair. We can look back someday, baby. Don't you understand that we only get one life? I wanna make it count, honey. Come on now and take my hand. So pretty with the wind blowing in your hair. We can look back someday, baby. Don't you understand that we only get one life? I wanna make it count, honey. Come on now and take my hand. Yeah, we only get one life. I wanna make it count, honey. Come on now and take my hand. So that's it for now, my friends. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please remember to give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, share the video. So for now, take care of each other, be kind, and always remember that you want to reach a point in your life when you say remember when and never ever I wish I did. Thank you for spending some time with me. Have an amazing week. I love you guys.